so hello everyone uh, today we will be starting factorization uh, chapter assessment we have completed 6g but we have left out the mcqs so we will be doing the mcqs now okay mcqs question number 18 okay here it is given the area of the rectangular part is this the rectangular parking lot has an area of this so this is the area of the parking lot 5x square plus 17x plus 6 so what we will do is we have to make two factors out of this so the method is same we have to find the middle term break this is in the first uh, first format so 5 into 5 into 6 that is 30 and we have to find two numbers 5 into 6 is 30 and we have to find two numbers which sum is equal to 30 okay which product is sorry which sum is 17 and product is 30 okay so two numbers which sum is this and product is 30 are 15 and 2 so 5x square plus 15x plus 2x plus 6 is equal to 5x common x plus 3 is here plus 2 is common x plus 3 ok then x plus 3 is common after that 5x plus 2 so this is the answer so one of the side will be 5x plus 2 that is option number C option number C is correct so after that it is 19 what is 19 the complete factorization of minus 12 b square b5 sorry b5 b5 minus b3 minus b3 plus b so we have to factorize this we have to factorize this so first what we will do is we will take common so when i take common it will be here it will be 12 b4 minus b square plus sorry this one will be plus and this one will be minus minus 1 we have taken minus b common ok so now 12 into 1 is equal to a into c is equal to 12 and here it is minus so two numbers which product is 12 and subtraction is 1 so two numbers which this is 12 and uh, from subtraction is 1 is are 4 and 3 12 b, b 4 plus 4b square minus 3b square minus 1 so here if I take b here and this part 4 4b square common it will be 3b square plus 1 minus 1 common 3b square plus 1 okay after that minus b is common here it will be 3b square plus 1 and here it will be 4b square minus 1 there is no minus okay so this is it and this is given in option number c again option number c okay option number c Twenty, not twenty. The binomial. This is a factor of which of the following polynomials? So first of all, is not a factor of which of the following polynomials? So I have already shown you how to find the factors. Here it is given x minus three. So what we will do is we will consider x as this is zero and x as three. Okay, we will be uh, three to this side, and we will consider the p x as each of the equations first equation is 2x cube plus sorry minus x minus 15 so here we will just put the value of 3 so 2 into 27 minus 
3 minus 15 so it will be 50, uh, 54 minus 18 so this is x square ok this will be 9 this will be 18 18 minus 18 it is 0 so this is a factor we cannot consider this we cannot consider this after that px will be 3x square minus 13x plus 12 so we will put the value of x 3 3 into 9 minus 13 into 3 plus 12 so 27 minus 39 plus 12 so it will be 39 minus 39 it will be again 0 so this is again a factor this is not possible ok this is not possible after that after that uh, cpx is twice x square minus 8x plus 6 here also we will put the value of 3 2 into 9 minus 8 into 3 plus 6 to 9 here 18 minus 24 plus 6 so it will be 24 minus 24 it will be 0 ok so it is wrong again oh, sorry this is not the person this is again a factor we have to find not a factor so the last one is left obviously last one will be the answer because others are not satisfying this the last part will be px is 2x square minus 7x minus 3 so here if we put the value 9 here it will be 7 into 3 here it will be 3 so 18 minus 21 minus 3 here it will be 18 minus 24 it will be minus 6 which is not equal to 0 so this is the answer option D the one which does not have the zero is not a factor of this one okay so this part is completed now we will be doing the chapter assessment of this, access, this chapter so chapter assessment so first of all question number one question number one is fill in the blanks so it is given 4 minus 4x square minus 12x is equal to dash okay it will be 1 if I take if I take minus 4x common it will be x plus 3 so this is the answer ok then question number 2 a x minus 3 plus 2 ice b 3 minus x here we can see both are in different parts but the thing is same so what we will do a minus 3 we will just change the plus to minus here minus twice b then this will become the opposite x minus 3 ok here x minus 3 is common now so a minus twice b this is the answer the next one number 3 this one is 1 1 and 2 now next one 3 3 is x square plus 24x plus 144 so here you can clearly see this is 12 square so it will be 2 into 12x plus 12 square 12 square ok so here x plus 12 whole square so this is the answer 
3 now 4 will be question number 4 16 x square minus 49 so here it will be 4 x whole square minus 7 square so it will be 4 x minus 7 4 x plus 7 so this is the answer Now number 5 will be x square minus x square plus 7x plus 6 so here it will be x square plus 6x plus x plus 6 so here it will be x common x plus 6 and it will be 1 common x plus 6 so here x plus 6 is common x x plus 1 okay this is the answer now question number 2 let me check something question number 2 so question number 2 is true and false all the trinomials of the form x square plus bx plus c can be factorized is it true? No, obviously no. Because we cannot factorize all the part. We have only three methods. That is, first of all, we have this middle term break, then the perfect square trinomial, and that is it. Those are the two things which we we can multiply a trinomial. So this is false we can only factorize some trinomials not all the trinomials so number two will be this is a perfect square trinomial is it a perfect square trinomial no because it should be in the format of x square plus twice a x square plus twice a b plus twice a b x plus b square so this is not a perfect square trinomial false again one of the factors of this is uh, x square again one of the factors is x minus 2 so we will take this as 0 and x is equal to 2 this implies x is equal to 2 so we will just put the values of uh, value of 2 in that one value px is equal to x square plus 14x minus 32 so we will just put the value of this one in here so what we will do, we will put the value of 2 here, 4 plus 14 into 2 minus 32, 28 plus 32 minus 32 is equal to 0. Okay, so this is a factor, that means true. Now why is this not selecting? this is true and now question number 4 to factorize this we have to find the factors of 12 whose sum is 11 no we have to find the factors of 2 into 12 not only 12 because a into c we have to multiply it so this is false then five numbers we can factorize this by difference of square method no we cannot find this by difference of square method why because the next term is not the square term so this is again false because this should be in this format both the terms should be in square format the second part is not in the square format so we cannot do this so number two is done now three Three is MCQ. If one of the factors of the expression this is, then the other factor will be. So it is clearly this x square minus ax plus 5x minus 5e. Here it will be x common x minus a minus 5 common x minus a 
a plus 5 common x minus a so x minus a is common x plus 5 so one factor is x plus 5 one factor is x plus 5 so what will be x minus a option number a option number a you can do this in other one more format also in the previous chapter you got one thing we already got the answer here the answer is a so now you can do this in another format also you have already find out the division of this part so what you can do is divide this term by divide this term by what is given x minus 5 ok so now here first of all we will multiply with x so it will give x square minus 5x ok then sign will change it will become minus it will become plus so this will be 0 this will be 0 so what will be coming down minus ax and minus 5a will come down after this we have to uh, this number to this is so it will be minus a so minus ax minus 5 so will be what wrong this is plus and this will be minus so what wrong happened again this is minus 5x this minus 5x this will become plus so it will be plus 10x something is wrong here hmm. this will be something is wrong but again I will do it x square minus a x plus 5 x minus 5 a so we will divide it by the given number that is x plus 5 sorry that was a mistake I have taken here minus 5 so here first of all we will multiply with x so it will be x square plus 5x this will become minus and this one will also become minus so this is 0 this will come be coming down and this will also be coming down so now we have to multiply with minus a so it will be minus ax minus 5a and the result will be zero so the two factors will be this one and this one so answer is this we already got one factor the other factor will be this one so you can to do this in two two ways okay now question number four the factors of this are what is given x plus 9x minus 5 sorry this one question number 4 you can do it this is not that tough this is uh, you can just do, do it now question number 5 5 is 1a minus b whole square 1a minus b whole square then is equal to 1 plus a minus b into dash so this is whole square so it will be 1 minus a plus b and 1 plus a minus b so this is the answer option number option number c 
option number C. Option number five, option number C. We have already done this type of questions. Six. The factors of this and this are three a square minus one zero eight b square. This will be three common. Three common. Here it will be a square minus. 36b square 3a square 3a square minus 6b whole square 3a minus 6b a plus 6b so option num option is b minus 6b a plus 6b question option number b Option number B is right. Okay. Now seven. Question number seven. The polynomial this a plus b square minus c square minus twice a b on factorization give a square plus b square minus c square minus twice a b. Okay. This will give. First of all, what we have to do, we have to bring twice AB into this part. Now you can clearly see this is A plus B whole square. Sorry, sorry, A minus B whole square. Uh, uh, A minus B whole square, then minus C square. So this is and this part is there. So my A minus B minus C, then A minus B plus. So this is the answer. Option number A. No, not option number E. Option number C minus B plus C. Option number C. Sorry, this one is option number C. Option number C. Okay. Now question number eight. Factorize this a b x square plus y square minus x y then a square plus b square. So first of all we have to multiply it a b x square plus a b y square minus x y a square. Minus x y b square. Okay, now we can take from this one and this one a x a x common. So it will be a b sorry b x and it will be minus. A Y, okay. From this part, we can take minus B Y common. So this will be X B. Sorry, we need B X then minus A Y. This part I will in first. Okay, this part in the second part. So now B X minus A Y is common. And a x minus b y is common, so this is the answer. Now number nine, question number nine. Question number nine is factorization. Fact, uh, sorry, factorization. This is square minus b square minus twice a b. So hundred minus this part is common a. Square plus b square plus twice a b, so it will be hundred. Hundred means ten square. And this is minus a plus b whole square. Okay, so now it will be ten minus a minus b, then ten plus a plus b. So this is the answer. Question number nine. Now ten. 
I am doing it first because you have already done it so there is no point in again explaining to you you have already the videos you can watch it again ok x minus 1 x minus 2 x square minus 9x plus 14 then here it is x minus 7 x square minus 3x plus 2 x minus 1 x minus 2 here it will be x square minus 14 to numbers 7x minus 2x plus 14 then here x minus 7 this will be x minus 2x minus x plus 2 so now x minus 1 x minus 2 here x is common x minus 7 here minus 2 is common x minus 7 ok here x minus 7 then x is common so this x square x minus 2 then minus 1 is common x minus 2 ok so here it will be x minus 1 x minus 2 x minus 7 and x minus 2 here it will be x minus 7 and here x minus 1 x minus 1 x minus 2 so now you can see this part will getting cancelled with this one this one with this one this one with this one so answer is x minus 2 so this is the answer so we have completed this exercise with chapter so next chapter will be starting is linear equation okay so thank you everyone